Marty Schwartz here with GuitarJams.com website with a lot of lessons and information. Information. Uh, what I'm going to do right now is do another one of those more intermediate, advanced kind of scale mode lessons, and <clears throat> I'm actually putting together a big DVD set of more intermediate and advanced techniques like this, and concepts mixed with licks, mixed with techniques. And actually, if you're interested in that, and if you're watching, if you watch the last lesson and you're onto this one, then maybe you are. You can um, sign my request list down there so you're notified when the when the discs are ready. So I was jamming a G7 chord. You know, a G dominant thing. Um, there's a lot of different ways to play a G dominant. You could have a G9. just that G dominant sound, okay? Now the cool thing about a G7 or a 7 chord is, you know, the mode would be G mixolydian. But when we're playing kind of the dominant bluesy world, the thing that's so cool about it is we could play over a G7, our ear has kind of been inclined to let the, um, the G blues scale or the G minor pentatonic still work over that. You know, that works, and we love that sound. I love that. Another thing, though, over a G7, you could actually play the G major pentatonic over that. Which is the same thing as the E minor pentatonic. But you're playing it over G instead. So we all already off the bat we've got two really cool sounding scales for it the G minor pentatonic the G major pentatonic and then also you know the G mixolydian all those things all those scales can be used over the G major, G minor, and I think just, you know, uh, our ears are just used to hearing that minor pentatonic, uh, you know, working over a G7 because of the blues. Okay? But here's what I did. Uh, I tried to demonstrate it in that intro there. I took the same pool of notes, the same scale, the same fingering, everything as the last video on this channel, which I was using the A root on a D note and playing over a D minor. I was playing the D minor pentatonic right here, and then we turned it into what was called a D Dorian. shapes there's always one string through that only has two notes on it and for this shape it's the D string okay now check this out D Dorian is basically what it is, is it's really it's it's the it's the C major scale but we're playing we're shifting the tonal center to D playing it over D minor 7, and that gives us what's called D Dorian. Well, modes work like this. You take a different note of that 7 note scale and shift it and think of that as the tonal center with its accompanying tonal center chord, and now you've switched modes. So what I did was, I decided to keep it in this key 
So D Dorian is all the same notes as G Mixolydian. It's also all the same notes as C major, C major scale, and some other modes as well. But I don't want to add any more to the mix than what we covered in the last video and now this one. So this is a position of G Mixolydian actually, but we got to know where the G roots are just so we kind of can resolve our licks as we're learning to use this position of it. So here are our roots for G Mixolydian, right here, the fifth fret of the D string. And then we have, right here, the eighth fret of the B. Those are our roots now. So watch, if I just loop a G7 chord, so I've got the G7 going, I can play this, everything we did for D Dorian, but everything resolves now to this note. So watch. That's the root two. 